Developers of a virtual fencing product have completed a successful trial on a cattle farm in southern New South Wales. Findings from the trial are encouraging and plans are afoot to move into the next phase of production. Sally Haynes from Adjacens, which developed the e-Shepherd, says the trial showed how cattle could be managed near a river and its adjoining land known as the riparian zone. With a virtual fence we can turn the fence off, allow the cattle in there to graze for say a couple of weeks, clean up the riparian zone and then we can put the fence up again. So we have a lot more flexibility. It's anticipated the product will be particularly useful for cattle farmers on huge properties in the top end of Australia. This is going to be such a benefit for them. They're not only going to be able to fence their animals, but each animal is individually tracked. So they'll know how many animals they have, where they are, and if they get into difficulty, the collar will send them alert. The product is in the form of a collar which goes around the animal's neck. It emits a series of audible cues and a small electric pulse. The cattle learn to recognise a virtual fence similarly to a traditional fence, but via an audio cue instead of a visual one. And generally we find within two or three experiences they're starting to predict that the audio cue means they must stop or turn around or back up. The Goulburn Broken CMA was among the first to recognise the technology's potential more than ten years ago. I've been working in river management about 15 years and I reckon it was about 10 years ago where I first became aware of this technology. There's a little YouTube clip of some trial work, really early trial work CSIRO did. And its crucial riparian land is protected from grazing. It protects waterways and the water quality of waterways. So, you know, us as humans, the, the basics of life, food, water and shelter, a, a lot of that are derived directly from rivers, particularly water. When the product's finished, farmers will use an app on their smartphone or computer to move the boundaries of their fences. It's been a massive learning for me that uh, developing technology isn't a simple and easy thing. Starting something from scratch and developing up a product such as this is a very complex thing. The eShepherd will be available for commercial release early next year.